Hi guys, this is Sadek from Webroom.com and in this video, we'll show you how to hide the developer options and the USB debugging from any app on your Android phone. And we are using two approaches. The first one is without root and the second one is using root. You want to try out the one which is in sync with the requirement. So with that in mind, let's get started. First off, I'll show you how to get this job done without root and then using root. So for the sake of reference, I'm using a simple app which is known as developer option. The task of this app is simple. It will just show you if your phone has the op developer options enabled and the debugging is on or not. As of now, as you could see, both of them are enabled the developer options as well as USB debugging is both of them are enabled. So it's showing that only and the auto launch is just simple thing. The auto launch is that if you launch the app, it should then open the developer options on your phone automatically. It sometimes works, sometimes not work. That's not a cause of concern, but auto launch is made just for that only simply ignore, ignore this. Just see the green light next to developer option, which signifies it's enabled and debug is also on. So USB debugging is also on. So now I'll try to hide the developer options and debugging from this app. So at the end of the video, even though both of them will be enabled, but in the app, it will show that it has been turned off. So let's get started using two different approach. First off, let's get it without the root. So here's what you need to do. First and foremost, you have to install and set up Shizuka on your phone. So let me get that job done as well. So first and foremost, you will have to set up Shizuku on your phone using the ADB approach. So I made a separate guide and a video on the same. You can refer to my guide and get the job done. All the steps and the screenshots are given here. Make sure to first off enable the notifications and then you have to go to wireless debugging. Enable the toggle as well and then tap on pair device with pairing code. After that, you will have to simply input the pairing code in the Shizuku prompt that appears. So do so and finally, Come back to the app and tap on start under the wireless debugging and then you could see that Shizuku is running under ADB. So with this, the app is now running in with the ADB mode. Once that is done, let's move ahead with the next step. So now you have to install the Keto app from GitHub and likewise also install the Acial app from GitHub as well or from FDroid. So this is the app from GitHub, the Keto app and the, the Acial app should be installed from FDroid. Keep this point in mind. I've given the link for both of them. For the Ghetto app, this is the link and for the ACL, scroll down and click on this link, download APK and install the APK. So with this, let me install both the apps as well, the Ghetto and the FY. So this is the Ghetto app. Let me install the Ghetto app and after that, let's install the ACL app as well. Simply install the app, don't launch them. Once you install both the apps, let's move ahead with the next step. So now what you have to do is launch the Acial app first. So the Acial app is this one. Launch it and tap on request permission. Then you will get a Shizuku prompt. Tap on allow all the time. Then hit the start button at the bottom right as you could see over here. Now you have to type in this command as you could see this is the command. So open this guide in my on my phone on your phone. Open my guide on your phone and then simply copy this entire command from here and paste the command in that window. So let me do that as well. You should not get any output which signifies that the flashing the command is successful as you could see. I have not got any error message whatsoever in my output. It simply gave out this command. So this signify that the input is now successful and we are not good to go ahead. So now you have to launch the Ghetto app. So launch it and it's asking for the notifications completely optional. So let's give it if you want and now you have to choose the app from which you want to hide the developer options and USB debugging. In my case, this is the app, third party app, developer options. So choose it and now tap on the settings icon over here and now change it to global. As I've shown you here, first of change it to global in the settings label, type in hide developer options. You may give it any name of your choice, but let's be realistic and give it this name only. It will be easier to identify hide developer options. This is just the name of the flag. In the settings key, you have to choose development settings enabled. So let's search for this development settings enabled. This is the, okay. This is the flag. Choose it. Setting value on launch should be zero. Likewise, the last flag, just give me a second. The UI of this app is somewhat different. Likewise, the setting value on reward should also be zero. And once that is done, just verify it once. Hide developer option should be the label. The flag is development settings enabled and settings value on launch and on reward both should be zero. Then tap on add and the app settings has been added now. 
as you could see the flag names over here tap on this app icon over here and you could see the developer option has been shown as in red color so this signify that it has been turned off the app is not able to identify this and if i try to open it from here as well you could see developer mode is not enabled please enable it so in fact the developer mode is enabled in the back end but this app is not able to ident identify and read it because we have hide this option from using this flag name hide developer options so that is why this app is no longer working and is not able to identify that the mode is enabled on our phone so guys this was the first method using which you could get this job done but according to a few users for example he has seen that the galaxy s24 ultra the non-root method is not working because there is no flag named development setting enabled he cannot find the flag named this so if that is happening with you as well then you will have to use the non-root method so let me show you how to get that job done as well so first off let's remove the non-root method and then we will start with the root method so these are the three files for the non-root method let me remove this as well and this app should be four stop app info four stop four stop is done and now let's get started from the scratch as well likewise let me verify the status of the developer option as well once so system and updates developer option is there which is enabled and the usb debugging is also enabled so again we will hide this option from the app using a root method now this is the app developer options in the correct stage of thing as you could see by default it is able to read the status and showing a green light which shows it's enabled likewise the debugging is also on if you tap on it it will take you to that page directly so now we again have to hide the developer option from this app using rooting method so let's get that job done as well so first of you have to obtain root on your phone which is quite obvious using magis kernel is your patch as of now my phone should be rooted by magis i suppose okay this phone is not rooted so i have to take a different phone so just give me a second let me use a poco phone i guess this should be rooted by magis at least so just a second so my this phone is rooted by magis as you could see and now i have the app installed as well so first off let me verify the status of the developer mode settings about phone os version so this is enabled developer options should also be enabled then developer options is enabled and the usb debugging is also enabled as you could see now if i launch the app in the default state you could see the developer options is enabled in the light is green in color and the debugging mode is also shown as on so now we have to hide both of these options from this app using root so first of obtain root on your phone for that i'm using the magis you could use either the magis a patch or kernel su next up you have to install the ls4 framework onto your phone so let's get that job done as well this is my guide so simply you have to flash the ls4 zip via magis and then install the ls4 apk file as well so okay first of all let's enable zygis go to the magis settings and enable the zygis from here it will ask to do a restart we will do a restart at the end not now to save some time that will be easier so after that you have to, to download the ls4 framework if you are on android 14 you may get hold of the official zygis but if you are on android 15 then this will not work you have to use the ls4 fork for example the jing matrix will work quite well and good and as of now i'm using this only the jing matrix because it works on android 15 as well so as you could see it works on android 15 so go to the re release package and from here download both the zip file and once you have got the zip file extract the zip file and get the apk as well so for instance this is the ls4 zip file extract the ls4 zip and also get hold of this file the minor apk file and this is the ls4 apk and transfer both the file onto your phone once you have got both the files first of flash the ls4 zip via magisk so go to modules install from storage and ls4 zip file first of flash this tap on ok and make sure that you have enabled zygisk as well then tap on reboot and the ls4 zip will now be installed and after that you may install the ls4 apk as well so just give it a few more seconds and then we will get the job done so during this time the reboot might take up some time that is completely normal and nothing to worry about so let's wait for a few more seconds and the zombie phones are always known to be somewhat slow during the boot up but i was not able to use the oneplus because it's not rooted and i had to root then it will take quite a lot of time whereas the poker was already obtained root so that is why i simply made a switch although the steps will work across all the android phone so with that said let's first launch the magic cap 
and as you could see under zygisk it's yes likewise the module is up and running now you have to extract the apk file and install the apk as well i already have the apk on my phone so guys let's install the apk file as well just give me a second this is the ls post apk package installer always and enable allow from this source enabled and this is one thing which i clearly hate of zomi and hyper os as well but since we don't have anything we can do over here so we have to wait for 10 seconds and once that is done tap on okay and let's install the ls post as well now tap on open and we are now inside the ls post now the next course of action just let me see okay so it was over here now you have to search for the settings firewall module so go to the module section search over here type in settings and there is no space in between type in firewall okay without any space firewall and you have got this module tap on it go to the release section tap on asset choose the apk file it will now be onto your phone it's now downloaded once that is done install it as well and this is the app release.apk so install the app but please do not launch the app instead tap on the expose notification tap on it and then enable the toggle next to enable module now tap on the settings icon over here and as you could see still showing as module is not activated so the reason is because we haven't done a restart so after you have enabled the module and the system framework has been checked me out you will now have to do a restart this is compulsory so okay one more thing if you haven't got the ls port notification as you could see in my screenshot if you haven't got that it's not a cause of concern simply manually launch the ls post app go to the module section choose the module from here and then enable the toggle from here both of them are the same thing and once you have done the enabling you will have to do a restart of the phone or else the module will not work so let me show you just long press the power key and do a restart and again this reboot might take some time so let's wait for that to happen okay one more thing if the for some reason the setting firewall module is not shown in the ls post you may manually get hold of the apk file from their github page as well i've given the link this is the app release simply get hold of this app from here this is the firewall settings as you could see this is the module you may also manually get hold of the module from here then install the module then tap on the expose notification and enable the module or manually launch the expose app then go to the module section and enable the module from there once you have enabled the module let me show you go to ls post and then go to the module section and as you could see it's now enabled so now you may tap on this settings icon and it will now open the app you may also manually open the app from here as well setting firewall app and now scroll here and search for the app of your choice so in my case it's the developer option third party app check mark that app and after that tap on the app name as well and now you have to scroll down for the title of the flag which should be okay just give me a minute this is the development settings enabled scroll down and search for this flag so this is the flag tap on it and now you have to give it the value of 0 tap on save and as you could see it is showing as replace with 0 so we have replaced the value of this flag usb debugging and developer option flag with 0 in boolean which is false so once that is done you may now minimize it and now relaunch the app of in my case it's the developer options app which from which i have hidden the developer options so i am launching the third party app now and as you could see is showing as red in color over here and is showing as developer mode is not enabled whereas in actual my phone it's enabled let me show you that as well let's keep this app minimized and now if i go to the settings menu from here just let me access it additional settings developer options it is over here so you could see although it's enabled but in the app is showing as it's not enabled so if i go to about phone then it's always enabled but the app is not able to read that let me show you at the same time both of them the developer options is not enabled over here as you could see it's showing as red in color and the message also given it's not enabled but in reality we have it this enabled so i have hidden the developer options from this app and your task stands complete so guys on that note we round off this video the flag for both the root and non root is the same as you could see in the root method we are we have turned off the flag of development setting enable to zero the boolean value of false likewise in the non non root method as well the value was of this flag only as you could see 
and we have put the value of that as zero as well on launch on reward as both of them as well as you could see so you just have to turn off the value turn off this flag by typing in the value zero for the flag across both the settings so guys on that note we round up this video if you have any query with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching